Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Gail Saunders, president of Richland Community College, and what a wonderful evening this is. Something we've been dreaming about for many, many years now. Uh, we welcome the Clinton community. We welcome the DeWitt County community. We welcome Richland Community College family and staff. It's a great night for all of us to be able to uh, welcome you to the new Richland Community College Higher Education Center in Clinton, Illinois. Before I begin, I want to recognize a few people that are here, particularly the Board of Trustees of Richland Community College and our Foundation Board members who are here this evening. I'd like to start with Dale Coley, Chairman of the Richland Community College Board of Trustees. Bruce Campbell, Vice Chairman of the Richland Community College Board of Trustees is here also. There he is. Tom Ritter, Trustee of Richland Community College Board of Trustees. And Randy Prince, our trustee at Richland Community College Board of Trustees. I'd also like to recognize Gary Jackson, Chairman of the Richland Community College Foundation Board of Directors, <coughs> Ruth Stauffer, Secretary of the Richland Community College Foundation Board of Directors, Dr. Joe Schrote, Richland Community College Foundation Board of Directors, and Kathy Whitley, Richland Community College Foundation Board of Directors. Thank you so much. Without these folks, we wouldn't be able to celebrate what we're doing this evening. You know, it was less than a year ago in that chilly, oh, it was a burring day, January 7th to be exact, when many of us assembled under a tent at this very spot to celebrate the groundbreaking for this beautiful new higher education facility in Clinton, Illinois. Under that tent, protecting us from the rain, the wind, and the crisp temperature, we spoke of advancing Richland's mission to provide innovative educational environments, opportunities, and experiences that enable individuals, communities, and the region to grow, thrive, and prosper. Thankfully, enjoying the warmth of this building, we are celebrating the advancement of that mission through a ribbon-cutting ceremony. Although our presence has been secured in DeWitt County since 1977, through the gracious host of Clinton High School, this standalone facility will advance the mission of serving as an educational home for the residents of Clinton, DeWitt, Kenny, Lane, Wapella, and Waynesville. A variety of course offerings are part of that mission, including continuing in professional education, associate degree and applied associate degrees, general education development, and a mathematics learning laboratory to enhance the skills for all ages and abilities. After today, we serve as easy access to advance your expertise and talents, as well as enhance your personal and workforce development. We know that a building does not determine the quality of a student's education, but with each location, Richland maintains its commitment to the region and to the seamless education highway leading to higher education. The combination of a dedicated faculty, collaborative relationships, and a facility that can exceed community expectations are all integral part of the learning process and a winning combination. I want to thank all of you who were here at one time or another as an important cheerleader on behalf of Richland. Your steadfast support made all of this possible. As a community, Clinton provides the third largest consolidation of Richland Community College students. Today, we can provide higher education commitments through the state of the art campus in Decatur, Illinois, and expand our educational delivery through a st strategic location adjacent to the Clinton K-12 educational campus. I want to acknowledge and thank the Mayor of Clinton, Carolyn Peters, Clinton City Administrator Tim Falwell, and Ruth Stauffer, the Executive Director of DeWitt County Development Council, for their work with Bob Brady, Keenstone Homes, in creating the Richland Community College Clinton Higher Education Center. In total, 21 companies participated in the construction of this facility and Richland appreciates their efforts in the building of this facility. While this is a momentous occasion for Richland Community College, <coughs> we're saddened that Jan Shoemaker is not able to celebrate tonight with us. 
Many of you knew Jan because she provided consistent quality service for 22 years to the residents of DeWitt County. She passed away last week, but this evening we recognize the positive impact she's had on the lives of many students through Richland Community College. Ruth Stauffer, Executive Director of DeWitt County Development Council, has been a tremendous cheerleader for Richland Community College. Ruth also serves as the Secretary of the Richland Community College Foundation Board, and I really know she's excited about this project. She's been talking about it since the very beginning. Ruth, please come forward and say a few words. Yes, I do feel like doing handsprings. <laughs> uh, this is a very exciting time, and it's not something that we, any of us, did by ourselves. Uh, when I started in 2008, 2009, the residents uh, were all telling me that they would like to see this. They would like to see uh, a new facility for Richland Community College. And there have been so many cheerleaders before me that had suggested this, and I was just able to be able to see uh, its fruition. Uh, this is a wonderful asset for our community, an incredible economic development asset. Building it was an economic development asset and brought um, funds to the community and brought uh, interest in the community. And uh, the ability to uh, educate our workforce, to educate our young, and hopefully to keep them in the area is only going to grow with this facility. And I know you're all just as excited as I am about it. So thanks to Richland Community College, Dr. Saunders and, and Dr. Brower, and thanks to the school system that will bring these students here, and to all of you who may come back and take classes, and to the businesses that will have training classes here too. Welcome, and um, let's go forward and see how we can grow the community. Thanks, Ruth. Richland's had the privilege over the years to have an excellent partnership with the Clinton School District. And for many years, our home has been located inside the high school. That strong relationship was one of the reasons Richland chose to locate in close proximity to the high school. Richland will continue to build on our excellent partnerships by working closely with Superintendent Jeff Holmes and his faculty and staff to bring significant educational programming opportunities to the Clinton area to support workforce, economic, and community development. I know that Dr. Denise Cruz, Richland's Vice President of Academic Services, has been working with Dr. Candace Swift, principal of the Clinton High School, in an effort to formulate a schedule to provide dual credit opportunities to the high school's juniors and seniors here in this facility. It's going to make it geographically effortless for them to obtain college credit during their high school years. I'm so pleased this evening to introduce to you Dr. Jeff Holmes, Superintendent of Clinton School District, to make a few comments. Thank you, Dr. Saunders. First of all, I'd like to thank the Richmond Community College trustees and Dr. Saunders and Dr. Brower for, for this facility. So let's talk a little bit about what this means for, for, for the students in the Clinton Community Unit School District. Uh, as Dr. Saunders mentioned, dual credit has always been a big thing for me from the standpoint that our students, while in high school, can earn those credits and hopefully reduce the economic stress on mom and dad as they get prepared for college after high school. You know, through the Transfer Academy, which is a, a, a new idea down at Richland, it's possible for a student to almost get two full years of college credit prior to entering into college, and we all know the economic savings that that brings. That excites me, that opportunity excites my students and the parents in the Clinton Community School District. Well, we're going to look forward to this partnership, and, and Dr. Saunders and I just talked briefly about the sidewalk that we need to put between the high school and this campus. Uh, if you've driven around, uh, you know, I had the privilege of being here for the groundbreaking ceremony back in January, and I actually had two groundbreaking ceremonies going on in very close proximity because we broke ground on a new elementary school that we're going to uh, open up uh, July 1. So we've actually created a campus setting 
with my high school, my junior high, and my grades two through five being all within probably 500 yards of, of each other. That is an exciting opportunity for those kids because who's to say that my elementary and my junior high students cannot use this facility as well if the need arises, and that's an exciting opportunity for us as well. So thank you for uh, this opportunity. Thank you from the bottom of my heart from our, our students for, for what they have to look forward to in the future. And we can look forward to that partnership that we've had for over 20 years with Richard Community College continuing and growing into the future. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Holmes. It's been our pleasure to advance education opportunities in the school district with you as well. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you Dr. Douglas Brower, Vice President of Economic Development and Innovative Workforce Solutions at Richland Community College. Thank you, Dr. Saunders. I'm always excited when somebody can get through that long title. <laughs> uh, 36 years is a long time that Richland's been in the, the Clinton area. Uh, and we've had a lot of impact, but it's one of those things where you have to be honest, and, and, it's, and it's not about Richland alone. It's the partnerships that we have with the community, with all of the cities that are in the area, uh, and certainly with Jeff Holmes and his faculty and staff at the, at the Clinton High School uh, and the grade school uh, complex. And we're very excited about that. But it's also the partnerships that we've had with the businesses in the area. You look at what we've been doing with Exelon, uh, what we've done with Action te Technology, uh, and all the other partners up there. It's, it's everybody working together and taking advantage of this facility. Uh, it, it, the neat thing about this is, Ruth, I think we started talking about this well over a year ago. We really got serious about it and saying we need to do something. And we started looking at facilities and didn't find anything that really fit our need. Uh, but then we landed on this project. And I certainly want to uh, acknowledge the, those people that were instrumental in, in making this relationship happen. Uh, Clinton Mayor Carolyn Peters, uh, Clinton City Administrator Tim Fowell, I think I saw Tim somewhere uh, in here. Uh, Ruth Stauffer, certainly uh, she's, she's been pushing us to, to make this happen. Uh, and we're really excited that they were able to help us facilitate a relationship that ultimately uh, arrived at Bob Brady and Keystone Homes. Uh, and one of the exciting things about that relationship is that it's, it's a great example of a, a private-public relationship. You know, over 21 uh, uh, companies were involved in the construction of this facility alone. And that's real economic development. And to arrive at a solution that meets uh, a broader need of, of educational needs uh, and community and workforce development is really exciting to see this come together. And there's a lot of subtle features. Uh, Jennifer Peterson's here. She's head of our community education. Uh, and, and I pointed out to her that this floor is tiled so that she can do her dance classes in here. So every room here has a purpose. It's going to be a great avenue to connect uh, this facility with our main campus in, in regards to distance learning education. And there's a lot of positives here. Uh, so I want to thank all of you uh, for participating in this and making this happen. Uh, we're very grateful uh, about all of this. And, and uh, uh, as you go around, ask questions. There's uh, original people in all of the rooms. Ask about the technology, ask about the courses that take place. Ask uh, Vice President Cruz about the, the Transfer Academy. Uh, this is going to be a dynamic, vibrant place that serves all the needs of the community, educationally, and from an economic development standpoint. So thank you so much. Thanks, Doug. And that's right, uh, the community did say their number one interest for Richland Community College in Clinton, Illinois was the offering of dance classes. I don't know if you all know that, but we've done surveys with your community a number of different times and that was number one. So uh, we promise dance classes uh, in, this, in this facility. Richland Community College has always enjoyed tremendous support from our elected officials. And as you might imagine, our elected officials are very busy tonight because they're involved in session this week. The veto session is still in progress. There were a couple promises they didn't want to miss. Uh, Chapin Rose and um, Bill Mitchell were both planning to be here this evening. We may still see them before 6.30, uh, but they're not here yet this evening. They wanted to make a few remarks and congratulate the Clinton community as well as Richland Community College on 
on uh, the, the opening of another higher education facility that was going to be um, of special purpose to the growth of economic development and community development in the northern part of our region. But um, they're not here this evening, and if they should come around, I'm sure that they'll be interested in saying hello to you and, and hearing about your own interests, particularly the educational interests uh, of this region and how they can help support uh, Richland Community College and the education delivery that we'll be providing here in the area. So with that, I would like to have the dignitaries that are here, my board of trustees, and those who spoke this evening, to come forward because we are now going to break the ribbon. One, two, three. It's another dream come true in our master plan, and, uh, and we look forward to a very long-term partnership with all of you in the community. If you haven't received a class schedule yet, um, there's a class schedule for what I would call the rest of this year, and then uh, a few other uh, things that we were aware of we'd be able to host here in the, the Richland uh, facility in January and February. You should have gotten that schedule. If you haven't, uh, you will be getting it soon, but we have extra copies of it out in the front, so when you're leaving tonight, if you'd like to see what's cooking, I think some, some things are cooking uh, here, uh, particularly as we get into the holiday season. I think there's even like cookie decorating. So that sounds like fun. I might come back up with that. Uh, but please take that. I want you to know, however, that it's just the start of what we're going to be providing uh, at this facility. It's uh, what we can announce to you. I believe the first class is being offered here on the 14th of November. So that's coming right up you'll want to take a look and see if it's something that you're interested in being involved in. So this is your Richland Community College of Clinton. I want you to recognize that, understand that, and know that. We're going to provide what you need and what you want. So you have to make sure that you let us know. Uh, once again, on, the, on behalf of Richland Community College, I want to thank you for your support and making all of tonight happen. Have a great evening. Enjoy the rest of the night. Uh, enjoy uh, the snacks that we have available for you. And thank you again to the Clinton Chamber of Commerce for hosting this business after hours. <laughs>